Hi everyone, this is Cor with MiniesGallery.com. In this video, I will preview the 49 pre-painted miniatures included in the D&D Icons of the Realms Dragonlance Shadow of the Dragon Queen miniature set, which will be released on Wednesday, February 15th. I would also like to say a special thank you to WizKids for providing us with this preview set. There are two booster box formats for this set. A standard booster will yield a combination of four large, medium, and small miniatures. A super booster will contain two of the eight huge size miniatures from this set. Now throughout this video, I'm not going to talk about each individual miniature, but I will provide a few comments on minis that I feel are noteworthy. I am planning to have our website gallery page updated with highly detailed images of these miniatures by the release date. This set predominantly features humanoid miniatures that are great for using for player characters and non-player characters. I know many people like to get a good variety of monsters with these sets. However, I like a good mix of both monsters and humanoids, and I quite like the balance of those mini types in this set. Two of the miniatures in this set, the Bozak Draconian and the Boz Draconian, are also included in the D&D Icons of the Realms Draconian Warband set. They are the exact same miniatures in both sets, other than the numbers which are printed on the bottom of the bases. Over the last couple of years, we have frequently seen mounted characters which are detachable from their mounts. However, the Skeletal Knight Rider does not detach from this mount. The Dragon Army Ogre is a very unique sculpt, and while it greatly differs from the combat-ready, weapon-wielding ogres we are accustomed to getting, I do quite like this miniature. However, as a miniature with a rarity of uncommon, it means that the people will be getting multiples of these miniatures, and I just don't see a need to have any more than one. I wish this mini could have occupied a rare miniature slot. The War Horse in this set has been a long desired miniature for me. In my opinion, this is the first actual War Horse we've received as a pre-painted mini. Prior pre-painted War Horses were either unarmored or were so small in scale that they should be considered an armored war pony. This mini is perhaps pushing the limits of a large sized horse, but I have no issues with the scale and I am very happy to see this miniature made. The Blue Dragon's wings are detachable, and I really like the sculpt and pose of this miniature, making it one of my favorite Blue Dragon minis made. One of the Green Dragon's wings was very difficult for me to insert, and required me to trim a little bit of plastic off the insert tab before I could make it fit into the wing slot. The Young Black Dragon also includes a separately labeled Black Dragon Rider miniature, this miniature detaches at the torso for placing onto the alternate saddle configuration, which attaches onto the dragon. There are also a few promotional miniatures which form part of the set's release. 
Takesis is a promotional miniature which retailers receive for every case they buy. They are intended to be used to help incentivize sales of products from their stores. Lord Soth is a promotional miniature that can be obtained by buying at least one booster of miniatures from the Dragonlance or the Dragon Queen set on WizKids dndmini.com online store. This is a different miniature from the Lord Soth miniature that is included in the Lord Soth on Greater Death Dragon Icons of the Realms box set, which will be released in April this year. While not much information is known about the Kender promo box miniatures, I suspect they will be a convention offering this year. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to see more of my quick reviews.